I had to shovel shit out of the, the Dunkin' drive through man. That was insane. That was, uh, how many summers ago? That was two summers ago now. You know what I mean? Almost two years ago. Dang, dude. So, yeah, I, yeah that was, oh, man. I didn't want to relive that, buddy. Any, anyways, somebody ended up suing. So, the update on the story is somebody ended up, so let me put it in short real quick, and then I'll give you guys the update here. So, what happened was somebody, uh, like, the sewage was clogged or something, right? And so, my manager was, and like, it stunk so bad. So, the, the manhole was right in the drive-thru, right? And the shit was leaking out. It was overflowed. Shit was leaking out. So, the, like, just sewage was leaking out of this hole, okay? And he, and, and we, he, we brought some, uh, so, you know, we live up in north, so we had the, the snow shovels, right? So, we took snow shovels and had, like, trash bags over like our shoes and stuff and like mask on and uh we had to shovel the shit out the drive through okay like we had to shovel raw sewage out of the drive through because people were driving through it and they said it really smelled and we put it into a trash can and just left it out on the side of the road buddy for somebody to pick up um yeah i'm pretty sure that the garbage disposal company got pretty upset for having raw sewage there they, they got really angry at us so, um, anyway, so the update is, somebody that used to work there said they got terminated or something like that for, like, showing a video from us showing, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, this was back in the day when I was rubbing on mask on shit on my wrist would have kept the whole house full. So, bro, I'm not even joking, she sued, she was gonna, she, she was going to sue Dunkin' Donuts, right? And, and she, she ended up getting a seven, uh, we ended up getting a settlement fee, right? And she ended up getting like 50 grand or something, or not 50 grand, it was like 20 grand, I'm not gonna say it's 50, it's probably like 20 grand, right? Dude, so they had 20 grand, and we were the ones that had to shovel the raw sewage, we had to shovel shit out of the drive through and, and she ended up getting 20 grand out of the entire thing. I got zero dollars for doing that, I didn't get, ex he didn't pay me, man, I'm like... So that was the biggest scam my entire life, guys. That was the biggest scam ever. From hockey players having their throats cut open. Holy shit, no. Yo, guys, guys, guys. Ecto told me a story where there was a kid, I think it was from his high school or high school near, and um, he, he said a kid fell, and it's and he got, he got his, the kid fell, and, the, and like there was an ice skate. I can't even think right now. Dude, a skate sliced his fucking throat, bro. And it was like a horrible thing. The whole town had this huge funeral down the thing. It was a horror story. I'm like part ginger or something, brother. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know what's going on with me. And then, then the, a little old lady came up and was like, let this young man go. And I'm like, thank you. <coughs> she didn't do shit, though. He just kept going. <laughs> no way, I forgot, dude. Shout out to that old lady. Bro, shout out to that old lady. She saved my ass. People were trying to say, <laughs> bro. I didn't even tell you guys about this. The one thing I left out a story about that guy pinning me against the locker. I'm not even joking. Oh my goodness, this is when I was really skinny, so that's why I couldn't. I wouldn't fight back or anything like that, buddy. I'm not even joking. So okay, yeah, because I was making fun of some of his girlfriend. I was talking about this not too long ago, but I was, I was, apparently I was making fun of his girlfriend. I didn't really know. I was just kind of picking up people. I was just kind of like a loud mouth. I would just like say jokes just to make people laugh. I wouldn't even think about the consequences here. So that's why he pinned me against the locker. But teachers were literally trying to get him off me. They were trying to defuse the situation, motherfucker. Like he had a gun or something. They were all like, it's not worth it, man. Let's say his name is uh, Billy. It's like, they're like, Billy, it's not worth it, buddy. Billy, come on, man. You don't want to mess up the track season for this. They were like... Was it Bones? <laughs> it was not Bones. Uh, like, Billy, it's not it's not worth messing up the track season for this, man. Like, Billy, get off of here, man. Come on, it's your year. Don't mess up everything. You don't want to mess up and get out of classes. You know what I mean? They're like, and the teacher teacher like, let this young man go. And I'm like, <laughs> and eventually he let go, motherfucker. Shout out to all those people, man, that try to defuse it. They saved me. They said, like, they had a gun. They, but they, he didn't have a gun. It's like, they were trying to defuse the situation like he had a, he was holding me at gunpoint or some shit. Oh, bro. That was just a whole nother thing. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, the principal pretty much, like, brought me to the office afterwards, right? It was like, Patrick, uh, you were talking about his girlfriend? And I'm like, and like, he said his girlfriend by his fir her first name. I had no idea what her name even was, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I had no idea. I was like, I was not talking about her. Like, I didn't even know who that is. Because I was just saying, I was, you know what I mean? I didn't even know what her name was. That was the thing. That's how, like, uh, uh, clueless I was about this whole situation, brother. So I literally got blindsided. 
I had no idea. He's like, and he's like, I was like, no, I had no idea. He's like, all right, I believe you. Like, you're not on my watch list. Like, he is. <laughs> like, shit, dude. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea, brother. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get any trouble. Nobody got in trouble, so we're okay here. Imagine people was watching this and saw you said that, Lamau. I know, but who cares, bro? Like, I'm out of that school anyways. I got my ass beat that day. I didn't get my ass beat. That's not true.